Hi and welcome to another video. Today's topic will be the AFMF frame generation from AMD. And I got it running alongside the NVIDIA RTX 4060 in this HP Omen 16, which has uh, AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS with a 780M GPU. And it's running flawlessly. So we are at 89 FPS with uh, full ray tracing in um, full HD and it's upscaling through the AFMF uh, driver frame generation to 180 FPS roundabout. So what it will do, it will duplicate the frames that the small iGPU gets from the NVIDIA GPU and first of all, I couldn't get it running, but I show you a hack, so you can get it running on your AMD laptop machine, or maybe in the future on an AMD PC with an Radeon iGPU inside. I don't currently know if it only applies to the 700 series of AMD iGPUs, but it should work um, fine in that regard that um, if you got an AMD iGPU maybe from a Ryzen 7000 processor or 8000 processor it should work but I cannot guarantee it if it will work uh, if you got an iGPU with uh, less than I don't know two uh, CUs or so but I hope um, that AMD will catch up. And yeah, it's working fine. So we got around 60 milliseconds of PC latency, which is quite high. And I don't know if you would include this frame gen lag on top or if it's included in this uh, average PC latency from the NVIDIA driver. So uh, that's another component that I don't know actually but we are running Witcher 3 at ultra settings or maybe higher I don't know so I go into video and display and we are running at 1080p full screen with the LSS frame generation on so that means that um, even frame generation from NVIDIA works alongside with the small little AMD iGPU, which is upscaling furthermore. So we are upscaling two times around about with DLSS 3 frame generation. And on, on top of it, we are upscaling with AM AFMF. So we do frame interpolation to 180 FPS. So without DLSS 3, we would get around 45 FPS and not 90. And we um, wouldn't get the 180 FPS that the 780M iGPU provides us. So I check this in the latency test and it feels pretty okay. It could be of course best, better, but for single player games like Witcher 3 or so it will be fine. And what I have to say is that the AFMF will actually deactivate itself if the movement of the camera is too fast. So keep that in mind. If you're playing um, with a mouse, it will deactivate quickly. And if you do quick pans with the camera, like now, it will also deactivate. But with the controller, it's less noticeable because um, with the controller, the movement is not as fast as you could move with the mouse. So that is this and now I show you how to activate it. So I exit and press OK. So the important part is that we go into NVIDIA control panel and oh by the way I recorded with a camera because there is currently no way to do a screen recording without an external computer to capture so OBS won't work and 
So this AFMF OBS won't work and Radeon Real Life is not supported on the 780M iGPU at least on a laptop device, so that is that. We go to NVIDIA control panel, it's in German, but we go to the global settings and use the integrated graphics and not automatic and not NVIDIA processor. So we set it to integrated graphics. What will happen is that the operating system will use the NVIDIA GPU like on default but it will output the picture to the iGPU which can then process the FMF frame generation on top of it. So next part is we go to the graphic setting so you search for graphic setting on your machine in the start menu and click enter and then you go to standard graphic settings and ensure that hardware accelerated GPU um, scheduling is activated and this is important because otherwise DLSS3 won't work and otherwise AFMF won't work too so next part is we go to graphics and select the Witcher 3. So um, if you don't have the Witcher 3 in this list, you just click on uh, browse uh, under the desktop app here. You browse for the X of Witcher 3 or whatever game you want to run. And um, the important part is that you go to options and set it to high performance so it will choose the uh, RTX 4060 uh, GPU to render the game in the first place. And then you're good to go. What I have to say is that, like I mentioned, AFMF should only work with higher end iGPUs like the Radeon 780M. But that page is actually from the preview driver, so I don't know what's on the current driver because it's not explained. Maybe um, every iGPU and GPU is uh, supported, but I currently don't know. But I'm on the Adrenaline Edition 24.2.1 driver. And in this driver, what you have to do to activate AFMF, in case you didn't know, is you go to graphics and here I would suggest to leave it on default because there might be some infer interference with some other settings so we leave it on default but we go to games and we go to Witcher 3 and here we just toggle on AMD fluid motion frames which will also activate anti-lag and with anti-lag it will bring down the lag quite a bit uh, and it activates like I mentioned automatically if you enable AMD fluid motion frames so the lag will be around 25 to 30 milliseconds uh, currently I don't know if it's a top of this average PC latency or not, but it will be run fine for single player games and on multiplayer games you shouldn't activate it in the first place anyway. So I hope this was informative and see you in the next one. Bye bye.